Good morning from the Enchanted Treehouse. Yes, it's morning again, and thankfully we did leave her. It's, she's dried very nicely. I'm very impressed. Just want to stick a little bit of glue here, just to put this little flap down slightly. Oops, a bit of an air bubble there. Let's just put that one down and find a pin. Right now we're going to do the embellishment of her top. I just want to pin that piece down so I know it's going to go down. Okay. What we did with our embellishment is we actually started, went around like that, covering over her, took it down to the middle like that, and brought it back. And that was pretty much how we got that effect. Now I'm going to glue it. You could do this any way you want. I mean you might find it easier to start more with your strap. Ah, put the strap there. Bring it down to just where her bust is. Turn it and take it back up that piece. Let's let's glue it as we're going along. I'm going to put my little bit of glue here to hold that. Um, I'm going to just put a little bit of glue to basically just to secure that little bit. We're going to also use a, a cleaner to take the excess glue off in a couple of minutes. Okay, take it from there, like that. Take it to the front. Don't pull it too tight. I like to use a, a stainless steel pin now just to hold it in place there for me. Turn it, go back like that. So you've got that sort of effect. Now I can, if I could find my little scissors it would be so much easier, but I'm going to just drop that off there. Now you'll see they are both, there we go. Now that glue will dry nice and clear for me. Then the, this, the next piece is actually very easy, because you're just basically going to go around where the top of her corset is. And you're going to bring it around. Now don't worry about that there. We're going to sort that out now with sleeves. And, oops, messed a bit there, but it's not serious. I'll clean it up now. <coughs> so now we just basically go around like that. There, and bringing it back around there. Now you can just get that that it's nice and even. Um, put that down slightly. There we go. Because then you can put your embellishment just over it there. Now we can leave that again to dry. It's just so much easier working with it when it is dry than trying to work with it moving with the glue. I just want to get it that it's now even. You can see that it is. Make sure that piece goes flat. And keep that in line with it there. Great. I'm going to let that dry just a little bit. We've got to the point we're going to do our arms and our sleeves. Now some of you may have got a Stacey Hoffman body that like that. Or you may have the one like I've got with the actual no shoulder part. Most of you have the same arms however. So we're going to put our arms in and just have a look how they fit. Um, and then we're going to create a sleeve to cover that little bit. I have just want to this one off slightly. I want to make sure that that's long enough to go in. Your sleeve will be exactly the same, doesn't matter what top piece you've got. Right, we get our lace, cut two little squares of lace. There's no infinite size here. I've just cut them the same. There we 
Marke and you can put that sleeve on like that, glue it in place, find my glue. seem to have little air bubbles in my syringe this morning, so we're just trying to get rid of them slightly. Wipe the glue on. And put your seam on the inside because then you won't see it. Just wrap that around like that. It's a nice fitted sleeve. Just wrap it around and put a clamp on it to dry. I love using clothes pegs or these little memo eggs just to something that it can dry. And the same with this one. And glue will dry clear. So put quite a bit on. Straighten that for a moment. And we do the whoops. This is why I get so sticky. There we go. And again bring it round to the back end and there we go so that seam is actually on the inside of her body there we go it's just I don't want to get up and go look for another clip so I'm just going to pin this one for a second there we go right let that dry for a couple of moments while it is clamped like a holding together I've just taken some cotton and wind around that piece of pipe and the lace. Just securing it like that. This we will eventually just bend like that and insert her. I just want to do that quickly. There we go. Perfect. Once your arms have dried, just wind the little bit of lace with some cotton around it, add your glue and push your arm in. just want to get it back in again. I've already got glue in here. There we go. Okay. Now you've got your base. Now we're going to add a little bit of tailing here around our sleeve. Depending on which body you've got, you can do it in a number of different ways. We can add an extra detailing stitch with our, our cord like that take it across and you'll actually just the whole effect of this dress um, it's a little dress to to play around with because you can change the neckline completely um, we could bring it to the back like that and actually just have it hanging down which would be quite nice it gives you a totally different look in the front alternatively we can take a small piece of our lace and just gently over that add that little piece of lace to cover there from oh, we can actually glue the lace in place from there just take it over like that bring it round to the back like that and then just glue that all in place it'll also help define her sleeve. I'm going to do a mixture of both so bear with me while I just cut my lace the same length. Don't be afraid to experiment. I do this every time which is why between the actual class and us doing the DVDs and the sample we always end up adding extra things because as you go your bits of your own personality should come out in your creation. So let's get my tweezers which just help me not get as sticky 
and I'm going to turn her like that and just gently put that in like that taking it down around the back I'm going to just snip that little piece of lace there to cause a pleat so that we can get it on our arm there we go and now we could have actually done this step before we put our detailing on I didn't um, because it just depends on how you want it but adding it now is not a, a major problem because we just really nip it and put it in place now I've got the lace stuck to my tweezers there we go just gently push it down like that and it's in place perfectly. Remember once you put that cording on again now as well, the extra piece of cording, you won't in fact see what we've we've just done there. Let's put some glue on this one. Move it up just slightly. And now you'll remember on one of the previous projects we did for the list during one of our daily moderating days, I did a, a masquerade mask. Go back and have a look in YouTube, it's under Kelly Roche 3, and you could in fact make her a beautiful masquerade mask to go with her for the ball. I'm going to just nip that down, like that, see where it's got to be, and just nip it off. Now we have two pieces of lace full of glue lying on the desk. Okay, and once you Lift all your places, just gently push it into place. Okay, now I, I really like that idea of the, the extra piece going across, be it like that or be it that it goes around the arm. I like it in that sort of a vein because I want to run this down as a almost like a little bow so I'm going to be a little bit daring here and I'm going to put some glue along here just to hopefully get it into place so it'll hold its place I love these trims because you can do so much with a trim like this okay we want to just go around like that uh, just get your arms more or less the same I just want to take that one up just slightly like that and bring that one down just a little bitty go. just to give her just that little bit more height on that side just keep checking that your arms are more or less at the same level Don't be afraid to experiment like this. It really is so much fun. Let's just take it into our back there. You'll see I've just put the glue on like that. I'm just bringing it round. And I'm going to basically put it in place. Bring the other piece round. Like that. And then I'm going to, when this is dried, I'm going to tie it and create a almost like a little bow effect there. We could even take it across like that and create a, a zigzag effect. Let's just nip that one off. Get that one in place. There we go. So now you've got quite a nice open back effect there. And if you want to, you can add in your little bow from the back there or two pieces hanging down. I rather like the effect as it is there. 
um, I like the way she's standing. Wigging, of course, you know, the best wigging tutorials really are Donna's. So have a look on the mini doll list at the newbie hangout and get an idea. I will wig her a little bit later on. Um, I want to let her dry and everything, and I will do it in cam just out of interest. It's always nice to see what other people are doing. But I have to be honest, I use Donna's wigging tutorials. I very seldom deviate from those because they, they are the best. If you wanted to now, you could add jewelry on for her. She's got a lovely neckline. And then, of course, we have this wonderful flow of glitter that's going to come through here. And all we do there is, you'll see in your box, you either got little stars or little hearts or whatever. Because I don't want to create another one identical to the one I've already got, I'm going to quickly dig in my drawer to see what I've got. Um, it probably will be stars or butterflies. Let's just have a look. Okay, there's some... We could use the pink pink stars, but I think I'd actually like something... There's the glitter. I just want to see if I can find different colours. There is... Ah, oh, there's some nice gold stars. Oh, those are very... No, no, that looks terrible. They would, would have been nice. Right, there's some red stars and a little bit of glitter. I'm going to actually rather go with slightly pinkish glitter as opposed to the orange, although the orange... Orange could be very nice. Let's go with that one. Um, you will have a mixture of of these in your your kit with your stuff. And I've got a couple of this one to pull out. Yeah, I'm going to use those hearts. I'm actually not going to start. I'm going to use the the ready ones because they they are just perfect shading. Um, remember, you have got you have used a little bit of your. Um, paint in the bottom with the red so what you can do is this is pretty much how I I do it I start you could have it coming down in a, a V shape upside down depending how you want your glitter this is entirely up to you I of course love the flow of my glitter going in that sort of S shape so I, I do a, a basic dot 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 not too much glue bringing it round just adding a bit of my glue and it's going to that side. Now this time you'll see I've done it the other way around so that you can see it slightly differently. Um, again use your, your toothpick which works like a big dream. Um, it's just put this on a little piece of fabric so I can see all my stars on this thing. There we go. Let's grab a, a toothpick here quickly. There we go. And of course as you know you wet your toothpick pick up your star and start putting your stars in place. You don't want too many. Where the bigger dots of glue are, obviously you put the, the stars. And where your smaller dots are, you're going to put your glitter just now. So you can put as many stars as you like on, obviously, or hearts, whatever it is you've got. You can add as much as you like to it, obviously, as well. I just basically pick up one little star at a time and dump it in one of the dots of glue. Occasionally I get two or three little stars. That's fine, I just put them down and let them settle there. Right, now we've got quite a lot of stars on there. I can go back and add a few more here if I want to and really a bit more here. So I'm just honestly just putting bits of glue there. I want to just turn her like that so you can see what I'm doing. See, I'm just taking my stars and putting them all over. You can do stars over a whole skirt if you like. Um, I've done that before, it's actually a lot of fun. You just basically keep going, putting it on, and, and just make sure that you're pushing your star into your glue so that it doesn't fall off a bit later. Here we go, you see how... Pick it up and sort of push it in so that you can see it. When I've done that, and I'm happy that I've got enough stars on my dress, I... I'm going to put these stars back in a little packet, otherwise I have them lying all over my desk again. You can add a second colour if you like. 
Um, I'm not going to add a second colour in my stars. I just want to add these stars to these. There we go. Then you can take your glitter. Now there are two ways you can do this. I like to just take my glitter like that, nip off the corner, and literally hold my doll and sprinkle the glitter gently where you can see your glue. And you see how already it's taking effect. You can sort of dot it off a little bit. Um, you can add more glue if you want to. And just add it. Oh, I've got some long hairs on that piece of glue. Okay. You can see we have. You can actually add in some more. I have some of them on my hand, so I'm just going to pick them up off my desk. Close that off. I'll sort of get all the glue off my hands again. And again, we just touch, touch, touch gently on your packet, and slowly it'll come out by itself. Um, with my bigger pots of glue, I actually put them into salt cellars. Um, sorry, of glitter, not glue. And there you've got the basics. Let that dry. See how you like your shaping there. And you can always add on again later. Um, rather too little and add than too much and you can't take off. If you want to, you, say you could do the whole skirt like that. I mean, that is entirely just a personal preference. I like the little bit of detailing there, so I tend to allow just for a little bit but I've seen skirts done in full and they are very very effective I just want to empty out my rest of my glitter that's here and pick up what's on my desk right so there's the basics of of our dress um, something that was rather interesting one of the ladies emailed me yesterday to say that she only had two strips of the red tulle now, in putting our kits together, normally what we do is we keep a full kit for ourselves. So we work with exactly what the students have got. With us moving the studio downstairs at the moment, unfortunately I can't find my kit, as I said to you in the very beginning. So I have used what I remembered, and I almost seem to think that there was lace in the kits. And that first layer was in fact a lace layer, and then your three layers of tulle. Um, the one piece of you'll see of your tulle is a narrow one, one is a very wide one. The wide one obviously you're going to fold in half which is going to give you your three layers. But in fact that very bottom layer was a layer of lace. Um, the lace was just gathered up exactly the same way and attached to the petticoat. It was the petticoat's lace that I made stand out and not just the finer lace. What I will do a bit later on today when I have a moment, I obviously need to find another doll to do, is I will in fact do the alternative petticoat and the skirt again. This time I'm going to change the skirt completely so it's going to be the same sort of idea but a completely different effect. So we'll see you a little bit later on back in the studio. Have fun, have a good day. Bye.